Welcome to the Church on a Hill podcast with Tim and Tracy Lee Sievers from Palouse Federated Church in Palouse, Washington. We're glad you could join us for this special edition of the podcast. Uh, and, and we don't really know exactly what's going to happen, so Waming, take it away. Hi, welcome to this game show. So today we are playing Who Knows Each Other Better. Oh. So, I both gave you guys the questions, you guys wrote down your answers, and I'll be asking the other person, like I'll be asking Tim, what is Tracy's favorite spider? Oh. And if he guesses it right... <laughs> the, the, the one that falls in front of my face. None. No spider. <laughs> I had forgotten I had this great idea for our last podcast. I was going to walk onto the screen kind of looking for a spider to make sure it wasn't there. That's what I thought of this morning in the shower and then I forgot about it. Oh well. Yes, yeah, so that's really the best. Okay, well I should know favorite spiders for sure. I'll get that one. So, um... Yeah, yeah, so it's so, a game show. He, so he'll okay. be trying guessing Charlotte. Tracy's. <laughs> and if Tim's right, nothing happens. Right. But if he's wrong, he gets to try one of the... Wickles, wicked, wicked pickle chips. <laughs> <laughs> Wickles, wicked pickle chips. Wickles, wicked pickle chips. They can't say it. I can say it. I love they saying can't it. say it. So these have a bit of heat, and of course the heat kind of builds the more that you have. A bit. Uh, what? There's a lot. Look, people, on Tim's plate, he has the pepper chili thing. I'm not going I don't to know eat why that. he got it out of the jar. I but put it he on did. yours. <laughs> I thought you would want it. <laughs> Smarter than that. All right, so okay. let's get started. We're going to start off with some easy questions. Okay. Easy question. Uh, so, Tim. Yes. What is Tracy's middle name? <laughs> uh, Lee. Good job. Final answer. Yeah, one point. All right, Tracy, what is Tim's middle name? Alan with one N. Oh, what? even on the spelling. One N? Yeah. That's not the thing that <laughs> changes. Uh, you're weird. Our next question is, True. Tim, what is Tracy's favorite color? Well, she's got like three. Um, <laughs> it's always been pink. Uh, if she has multiples, it's pink, green, and orange. Wow, all three are correct. <laughs> because Tracy decided to put three answers instead of one. I have three <laughs> colors that I like. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Mrs. Sievers, could you please have three? <laughs> but wicked, they were correct. Wicked. They weren't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. You have to eat them anyway because he's the They're producer. My it's like Double Dog Dare or something. I don't know. Listen, Waming, I protest because some people don't have just one favorite color. It depends on the season. I followed the instructions and wrote one answer for each thing. So, Tracy, what is Tim's favorite color? Red. Congratulations. I'll eat a sympathy pickle. That makes you feel better. You just want to eat a pickle. I do just want to eat a pickle. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> All right. So, question three. Tim, what is Tracy's favorite movie? Uh, well, I think, unless she's changed it, it should be The American President. But I don't know. Would eat, you please eat, eat a, a pickle? pickle. <laughs> what did you put down? Top Gun or something? You got Dr. mail! That is not your favorite. It's always been American President. Wait, wait. How about you eat the hot pick the chili pepper first? No, I'm not eating that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there are categories of movies. Of all the movies. I was not allowed to put multiple choices. That never stopped you on <laughs> the last question. <laughs> Tracy. Yes. What is Tim's favorite movie? She's not gonna get it. His favorite movie? I have no idea. Um, Captain America. No, White Christmas. No. Tim, what is your favorite movie? I think I put Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. Why would? Yep. Tracy. Please enjoy a nice pickle. I walked out of Lord of the Rings in the movie theater. Yeah, but not that one. It was the first one. The one with the bugs. Right. Okay. Next question. Yep. Tim, what is Tracy's 
favorite song? Ooh, a favorite song? Favorite Good song. Good luck. That's all I have to um, say. I'd just say some uh, Secret Ambition by Michael W. <laughs> Smith because then you could go to the bathroom <laughs> on the bathroom break when you were on the radio. It's true. I did. Because it was eight minutes It's long. eight minutes and 30 some seconds. I could run to the bathroom so. and get back in time. Man. That's not what I wrote. I, I doubt that it is. You will feel really silly when I tell you what it is. Tracy, what is it though? Be Thou My Vision. It favorite was in song, our wedding! Favorite song of all? Really? Okay. Enjoy your pickle, Mr. Sievers. <laughs> Joe Farr, so good. Tracy, what is Tim's favorite song? He likes Eye of the Tiger. I don't know who sings it, though. It's his that's baseball entry down, theme but song. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not what you put down. What, put down. what did you put? I put, I put a, uh, a classical music piece. Classical music? Gabriel's oboe. Oh. That's a ringtone on his phone. Oh. So you guys are right now tied two to two. Okay. This time I'm going to start with Tracy. Tracy, what was Tim's first job? Let's see. His first job, very first job, probably would have been working with his dad mowing lawns at Sievers and Sons Lawn Care. Wow. wow. Like all of it. I actually, had, I actually had written something else down. And then I was like, oh, wait. Like. My whole growing up, <laughs> I actually worked with my dad. <laughs> so. There were we had T-shirts when he when yep. we got married. He had a T-shirt with his name on it, and it had it all embroidered. That's very cool. It yeah. was somewhere in the closet, I think. Yep, mowed lots of lawns. Tim, what was Tracy's first job? Come on. I don't know, like a like does babysitting count or? This was a paid position. Paid position. It was uh, a paid position. The buckle. That was like my fourth or fifth I know, job. I don't know what your first one was. <laughs> wow. Damn. You better have a pickle. What was it? I was a commercial voiceover person for WGCA 88.5 FM in Quincy, oh, Illinois. That, that was your first one? My first job. I was 15. I had to get a permit from the state to work for them because I was too young. So now we are moving on to some harder questions. These are okay. the medium category. Okay. You didn't do very good on the easy ones. You ate a lot of pickles. You ate three <laughs> in one question. So Sympathy pickles. Tracy, yes. what is Tim's favorite actor or actress? Actor or actress? Mm. <laughs> I was that was a really hard one. <laughs> because he doesn't have one. He's made it up on the fly for the question. Well, there, yeah. Um, I'm going to say it's probably somebody in like a Marvel movie or something. Um, I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Who's that guy in the West Wing? Jed Bartlett. Um, oh, Martin, Martin Sheen. Sheen. No. I'm going to say Martin Please Sheen. Please have a pickle. Who, who did you write? I wrote Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Oh yeah, all the Indiana Jones and the Star Wars Han Solo. He's a really nice guy from what I hear from a mutual friend of the two of us. We yes. have like a connection. Yeah. Never yeah. met him myself. Yeah, but. yeah. So, Tim, what is Tracy Tracy's favorite actor or actress? How many answers did she put down? <laughs> there are three. So if you can get each one correct, Mrs. Sievers will have to eat three pickles. <laughs> Um, so I know my answers. Tom Cruise, Meg Ryan, oh, and a third one. Oh, I want you to eat three pickles. Could <laughs> um, she eat two if I got two out of the three? No. Nope. nope. That's not the deal. That's not how it works. You got this. You got um, some of them. Ooh. Um. Ooh, the, uh, um, yeah, what's her name? I say, this is like the worst thing. I'm always like, Tracy, Five. I don't have what any. What does she play? Um, um, the girl in Princess Diaries. Three. I don't, oh. can't remember her name. Two. Yeah, no, that's not I'm it. I'm sure it's not it, but mm -mm. I was just going to come up with something. Who so was, you got you two. Only, he only got one. I thought he got Meg Ryan. I got Meg he Ryan. He did. That's the only one he got out and of the three. And he said Tom Hanks? Oh, I said Tom Cruise. Oh, he Tom said Tom Cruise. Cruise. I wrote you, Tom Hanks. You love Tom Cruise. <laughs> And you know like have your you little missed? your little crush on him. You know who else you missed? What? You also missed Matthew McConaughey. Oh gosh. All right, that. all right, all right. 
hate that guy. <laughs> All right. Tim, what, where did Tracy go to middle school? Note, there are two this answers. This is not my fault that there are two answers. So, we moved. So you can pick, you can She went to, to Quin one Quincy Junior High and... Um, Before that? Someplace in Kansas. It was in Kansas. What's it called? But I don't... Um, I'll give you a hint. We yeah. were the Cyclones. Oh, 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 the Cyclones <laughs> in Kansas. No. Of course. Um, I don't remember the name of the town. Ottawa Middle Ottawa, School. Ottawa, Ottawa, there. We moved in the middle of seventh grade. Yes. So I got one out of two. You got so one out of two, so I will give you the point. Thank and you. And you guys are now tied again. So Tracy, You should have had to get two of them. It's not my fault that I, <laughs> that I only went to. He went to Sashaba Middle School. And let's see, it pine. Let's see, he went to Pine Knob for elementary school, and then he went to. She's trying to be a show off now. I'm driving to the different schools in my mind because we lived in your hometown after we were married. Um, the middle school, it's right North Sashaba Middle School. It's right in front of your mom and dad's neighborhood, right there. You can walk through yeah. the field. North Sashaba Middle School. It's, listen guys, I'm just, it's, I'm a, just, it's a middle school in Clarkston. <laughs> I think she's going to have to take a pickle. <laughs> Whoa. So, uh, Sashaba Junior High. Sashaba Junior High? Yes. Is that what they called it then or what they call it now? Well, that's what it was called when I went there. I went yeah, to North Sashaba Elementary School. I still school. gave her a point because she said Sashaba Middle School. Uh, she said North Sashaba which is the name of the elementary school I went well, I mean, to. Well, Amin says that I don't have to eat a pickle. Eat a but pickle. I'll eat this. Oh, she's choosing a little one because she's a feared of the big ones. So should I take the point away or keep it? No, she doesn't get a point. All right. Okay, I ate the smallest one, but I had a stem, so I took the stem off. So, Tracy, what is Tim's favorite worship song? His favorite worship <laughs> song? This one was hard, too. Uh, he really likes 10,000 Reasons. He did a whole campaign about it for gratitude in uh, November every year. I'm so sorry, but that is not correct. What did you write? I wrote the song that you picked for this Sunday it as well. Oh. From Bethel Music. A good song. It is. I yeah. listened to it for five hours in a row one time on an airplane. Wow. On repeat. I was trying to learn it. Mm. That's... Special. It's how I learn music. I listen to it over and over. Yes. Tim, what is Tracy's favorite worship song? Uh, I'm just going to grab a pickle now. <laughs> you, wow, should know you should know this. this. I'm going to guess Reckless Love. Yes. Is that yeah, it? that's no. what I wrote. <laughs> I don't have to eat a pickle. I'm so excited. Jim, Jim Fielder likes that one, too. All right. So, okay. Tracy. Yeah. What is Tim's favorite Bible verse? Mm, um, I know my dad's favorite Bible verse. <laughs> but not your husband. I see. No, my dad's is so John three seventeen. Uh, um, for God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, That's a good verse to like. It goes with three sixteen. I have no too, idea so. what your favorite verse is. Tim has memorized whole sections of Scripture. Like he can just, like he did just now. He can do that with multiple, multiple verses in a row. Like, I have no idea which one you chose. So I chose Isaiah forty thirty one. Do you know what That's that one That's the one is? about eagle. Yep. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not grow faint. But it's really hard to pick a favorite Bible verse. So, and I, so I have the question for her too, right? So yes, but Tracy, you must have a pickle first. Oh, oh, right, right. I <laughs> yes, it gotta get the pickle. They're starting to get spicy. And we're only halfway through. Booty. Oh boy. So I think hers. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mess up the. I always get them confused, but I'm gonna. It's Philippians. Three fourteen or four thirteen, and I always get them mixed up. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. No. Please yes. have a pickle, Mr. No. Seals. Yes, no. it is. Nope. It's not. What is it? 
Philippians is my favorite book, but my favorite verse is John 12, 24. You always write Philippians on everything. You never write When John I write 12. a letter, I write Philippians 1, 3. I thank my God upon every remembrance no. of you yeah, on just, the letter. No, you but, like the other one. No. Or the race one. The race? No. No, John 12, 24. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it does die, it produces much fruit. Well, All right. learned something new today. Tracy. I used to, when I wrote it, I would draw wheat next to it, too. It seems fitting for where we live. Had nothing to do with where we I are now. I mean, it works it's... out fine. But when I was in uh, junior high and high school, I went to a youth program that that was the theme verse for. Uh, okay. Yep. Tracy, what is your favorite, what is Tim's favorite book? Tim's favorite book, <laughs> Dead this. President book. <laughs> no. it, some, oh, all should. Tim's favorite books are about <sighs> presidents that are dead. I should amend my answer. You, you would um, kind of get it at least, but um, I couldn't think of a favorite book, so I chose the You Jonah um, poetry book. I would that, never, ever, ever, I know ever that we had just have got guessed that when we studied Jonah, but since you said dead presidents. My favorite biography is Doris Kearns Goodwin's Team of Rivals about, about Lincoln, Lincoln and, and his, his cabinet. cabinet. It's one of the most masterfully written um, biographies Danny ever. Danny Lahery would agree with me um, on that, I think, too. He so, really liked it. Did you, you went and ate a pickle anyway? I did. I okay. ate a pickle. Okay. Tim, what is Tracy's favorite book? I'm going to guess Hind's Feet on High Places, but I don't know. You missed it. That's, that was in the top running. Yeah. But I only wrote one, and that wasn't it. <laughs> what did you write? The Wind and the Wheat by Reed Arvin. Oh. Uh. I had, listen, I read it so many times with my original copy that the pages were falling out. And when Reed came to speak to a class I was taking at Greenville College, he brought books with him. And my professor was telling him how I had read it so many times and had shared it with so many people. He gave me a new copy, and he autographed it for me. Oh. So I actually have two copies of that book. One with the pages falling out, and one that isn't. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right. So now we just got past the medium questions. Okay. okay. And welcome to the hard zone. The hard ones. My I... tongue is starting to burn. So how would you guys feel if we do double points now? Oh, oh sure. Why not? And double I'm pickles, gonna need right? Double points. Double points. Double, points, need double pickles, pickles if so that's nice. the case. So we got some more left. So. All right. Tracy. Yeah. What was Tim's first car he ever bought? that he ever bought? Yes. Well, he had this car, it was, I don't know what it was, like a Pontiac or something, and he, he went away to, to college and his dad sold it while he was gone. And he came home, he's like, where's my car? And his dad was like, oh, I sold it. <laughs> that was a true story, but I didn't pay any money for that. So. <laughs> the first car he actually bought then would be the car that he took me on our first not date on. Which it was, it a, was a date. It was a Chevy S10 black pickup truck, and when he drove it in the Illinois winter at night, and it was snowing, I swear I thought I was in an episode of Star Trek because the the snow looked like the stars flying by in warp speed. Can I just say, wow? Yeah, <laughs> you got that hundred percent correct. So Tim. <laughs> This is double pickles. <laughs> Just double pickles? Not going to try? You're not even going to um, try? I well, <clears throat> I, um, so the Saturn. Yeah, I drove it yeah. off the showroom floor. It was brand new. My very oh, first car, pickles. brand new. It it was a good car, and we kept it. It's funny because you and your mom, didn't you and your mom have matching Saturns no, for a while? No, my sister and, and I sister had did. matching oh. Saturns, My except that mine was silver and hers was purple. Otherwise, they were the same. And so then when we got married, I gave my mom mine because we worked in the same building. And so we just rode to work together. It was silly to have two cars when we were going to the same place, one floor apart. And almost all the time, we having have, one car is enough. We have had one car. Almost all the for time. For <laughs> our whole marriage. Other <laughs> yeah. than that, first yeah. couple so weeks. We've, we've been, yeah, we've so my been mom married. drove that Saturn for a long time Yeah. after just, that. Almost 20 years married. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next cool. question is, Tim, Tracy has three answers to this. If you get them all correct, 
She has to have the hot There's no chili way. pepper. There's no way. Oh, yeah. Gonna, yeah. There's yeah. Gonna, so no, I'm not remember. eating the chili pepper. <laughs> yeah. okay. There's no way he gets it. What is Tracy's childhood celebrity crush? Okay, I'm just going to go back to Tom Cruise. That's one that out of three. One. What are the others? I, I don't There's know if no Matthew way. McConaughey still There's counts no as way childhood he gets or not. This. Does Matthew McConaughey? I'm not answering count? to give you help. I'm answering. Doesn't matter. Um, I got one. That was good. <laughs> you have to get the other two. I don't know who your crushes were. He's not <laughs> going to get it. It'll make sense to him though if I tell him what TV show they were on. What get TV your pickles. Show? <laughs> I got one. The, yeah, we were only asked to write one down. <laughs> <laughs> you have to eat pickles, man. So it was Luke Perry and Jason Priestley Ugh. from Beverly Hills 90210. I would never guess that. I mean, I understand that. And now that you said... All the girls my age. It was either them or new kids on the block. Now that you've said their names, I'm like, oh yeah, those guys. But I, those yep. are not stored in my head anywhere. Tracy, what is Tim's? Childhood celebrity crush. It's probably like Wonder Woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, trying to think who were. Here you go. I'll get your pickles ready. I don't. I don't even know. Who was it? I don't even know. <laughs> I put Tiffany. <laughs> Tina is so excited for you right now. <laughs> oh. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> Alright. So a score update. Oh, a score update. Tim okay. is up by one point. Does that mean I'm losing? <laughs> <laughs> Tim has one more point than Tracy. Is, is, do we, are we looking for more points or less points in this? More points. More points, okay. It's not golf. Okay. I'm one point ahead. Cross Sweet. country scoring. Okay. Alright. So, Tim. Okay. What is one thing which Tracy did put more than one thing, she put like four, four things. Four thing. Wait, no, five things. What's the answer? I mean, what's the question? Yeah. So, <laughs> if you can get all five things right. <laughs> I put five things? Oh, yes, I did. If I get all five things right, she did has I, I put to. Five? If I put five, one, if I two, get them three. all, she gets to drink the pickle juice. I think of, I can think of four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So if you can get all four or five. Whatever they are. Because one of them is a drawing. A, tr <laughs> a drawing? Can't you follow instructions? Oh, the drawing. No, the drawing went with the board. Okay, so then there's four. Okay. All right, so if you get all four I'm right. doodling. Tracy gets to drink some <laughs> wicked, wicked, pickle I am not drinking the juice from all right, those Tim, go for it. I don't know. What's the question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is... One thing you miss about high school. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, um, I loved my high school. I just want to say that. Shout out to all my people. Uh, her the show choir. Um, meeting the principal at the front door every day. That was pretty cool. The principal um, met us at the front door every day on the way in and said hello. Have a great day. Being on the football team. That was fun too. Um, That's not on the list, but it was fun. Talking to friends, talking on the phone. I still do that. Phones with long cords. <laughs> I do not miss Par corded phones. I, I don't know. I have you no haven't idea. gotten any of them. <laughs> I don't have any idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you. I have no idea. I don't. We don't sit around. To, oh, gee, I really miss this about high school. We didn't know each other in high school. We met in college. So, so all of so this is I don't, before I don't know. What do you, What do you really miss about high school? Well, spring show was really fun. It was our spring variety show, and you could put together your own act, or you could be in, like, the show choir was in the show. Um, so that was pretty fun. Partial to, answer. It's not a partial answer. That was really fun and exhausting, but super fun. And then um, I also really liked that my dad would take me to school on his motorcycle if the weather was good. So I would get to ride on the back of his motorcycle on the way to school. And um, I went to a private school, so we had mass at my school, and I always really enjoyed that. And um, what did I put for the other one? What did I write? 
It starts with a C. A C? What did I write? Chicklets. Oh, chicklets! Oh, oh I missed God. the chicklets! <laughs> yes. That was a high I thought that was college. No, that was high school. I had chicklets. So my mom worked at a university and had all these chicklets in her office and she couldn't use them fast enough with the students that she worked with so I would get them sometimes and I would give them to we had short lockers like half size lockers and so somebody's locker was above mine and his name was Danny and he would always ask me about chiclets and so we would pass chiclets back and forth chiclets right. was a big that was there a big, a big thing in high school nasty gum the white ones those are the ones we had so Tracy, what is Tim's? Like, what is one thing Tim misses about high school? Probably his his group of friends. When Tim was in high school, he was had all these guys, and he went to a big school, like twenty six hundred people or something. Oh wow! It was big. That's twice as big as I remember it. Well, anyway, it was big. It took six hours for him to graduate, <laughs> and he would he hours. would go down the hallway like this so that his friends could follow behind him and they wouldn't have to try to wade through the sea. He would like clear a path for all his buddies. I did not choose the group of friends because I thought that'd be too easy. Oh. Uh, then you miss doing your choir -y thing with Mrs. whoever it was, Grace, that made you the blanket. Miss Warren? Yes, Grace Warren. I did put choir down. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's check one for me. So after she got it wrong. I didn't get it wrong. You I just did. I gave her the point because so you never wrong. told her the answer yet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you get to just talk it through for half an hour. That's I right. see how it is. Okay. What else we got, Wami? Well, All right. Tim, has Tracy ever broken a bone? If so, which one? to her knee. I don't remember if it was broken. Nope, never did anything to my knee. Yeah, you know, you In a car, car accident. accident. It thing. didn't. Yeah. No, that was... I don't think she's <clears throat> broken a bone. I don't think so. I don't know. I haven't broken any of her bones. So, I know that. Alright, so Chasey, have you broken a bone? I broke two bones. Ooh, which ones? I broke my wrist in fourth grade jumping off of a swing where I earned myself the nickname Sky King because <laughs> my legs were too short to touch the ground to go in for recess being over and the bell rang. No one would help me, so I had to jump and it was bad. And <laughs> then uh, the other <laughs> the other one Poor little Tracy couldn't get off the swing. <laughs> The other one I broke in college, stepping off a curb in the autumn, and the leaves were wet and slippery, and I went slip, oh, I and I broke my yeah, ankle. Your ankle. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tracy. Did you eat your pickles? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go eat the pickles. Tracy, has Tim ever broken a bone? Tim has, has broken, <laughs> he almost broke his nose. But, <laughs> but no, he has not broken any bones. Maybe his finger. You know what? He, I think he did break his finger when Katie, our friend Katie. Why does she remember all the things? Katie was playing a game in youth group and there was an incident. Yes, Katie McCoon Moore. Yes. Katie, you broke my finger. <laughs> Undisplaced fracture. Yes, yes. <laughs> No, he almost broke his nose though when he shut the tailgate of the minivan on his face. That was not very nice. That Got was... some stitches. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Do I win? Uh, no, we still have one more question. Okay. I don't, I don't <laughs> think I can win though. I think I'm behind enough that there's no way for me to win. So. Are you sure about that? No. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. So. Tim. Yes. What year did Tracy move out of her parents' house the first time? Um, like, does, does that include, like, going away for college and coming back or not? Like, move away, move away. Move away, move away. 
Um, um, Two thousand one. Correct. I moved to Michigan. All right. Tracy. Yep. What? What year did Tim move out of his parents' house? Well, he could have put two different things because we graduated from college in two thousand, and he moved into his own apartment in Springfield, Illinois, so that he could do a master's program there. And then he decided to quit the master's program and move back to mom and dad's house where he lived for another year or so until we got married in the fall of 2001. What's your final answer? It's both. Because, <laughs> both. because I don't know which one he's going to write. You have to pick one of them. I don't. I don't have to pick one. <laughs> yes, you do, or you're drinking all the pickle juice. <laughs> I am not. Because I'm right either way. I'm right either way. No, you have to guess what Ooh. was written down on the paper. You you did move to Springfield after college and you were on your own. You had your own apartment. You had yep. your own car. That what was year? 2000. Summer, fall. Is that correct too? Summer, fall of 2000. That's not what I put down. But it's true. I, put two, I was enrolled in school still. So I did not put that down as when I left no. home permanently. I put 2001. He didn't, then in that case, he didn't leave home until he married me. In 2001, I put yeah. the same year in the yep. Utah. <laughs> he moved, he moved from mom's house to my apartment. There's some pickles there for you. I don't need to eat a pickle. Yes, I knew the answer. Get it. You didn't get it right. You guessed 2000. You guessed the wrong one. <laughs> I think I should get less pickles because I knew not only the right answer, I knew the story behind the answer. No, you should eat the pickles because you couldn't follow the instructions and just put one thing down. Because they want me to eat the pickles. Alright, so it's the end of the game. Did I win? You cheated. I did not. So, Mr. Sievers, you have eight points. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> Out of 15. Well, there were double points in the final uh, category. That's points. really bad. Did you did you count the double points? Yeah. You got eight out of twenty. Yes. Oh man, Tracy, you got nine out of twenty. Oh, see, <laughs> you, see, but she didn't take the false point for the last question, which would put me ahead. So I got them all. No. Mm -mm. Tracy. Yes. I have a question for you because you won. Yes. Are you going to make Tim sleep on the couch? <laughs> No. Uh, no. No. Okay. Clearly, uh, we need to tell more stories about about fourth grade. Fourth grade, and yeah. Well, I'm just gonna, Woo! you know, throw your pickles all over. You're gonna eat, eat all those pickles. Eat my pickles here, so. Uh, that is gonna be spicy. <laughs> she has a pepper. No, don't eat. The so pepper. well, thank you bad. all for listening and watching. This has been Tim and Tracy <laughs> Lee and our uh, host Waming coming to you from. Uh, our studios in the rolling hills of Palouse, Washington, and we hope you have a blessed week. Uh, cheers.